Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing great. Here we have a brand new brand. It was just launched. The brand is called Tempest Vite, and it does have three different fragrances. And I'm gonna be giving you my pseudo first impressions of each one throughout the course of this video. I'm excited to share my thoughts with you very soon. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these three brand new fragrances from the brand Tempest Vite, I do want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode. It would really mean a lot to me. So here we have a brand that I recently discovered. I did spray each one of these test strips about 10 minutes ago or something like that. So I did kind of smell them in the air, but these are gonna be like my first impressions, right? Cause I haven't really smelled any of them up close. I literally just sprayed them for the first time right now. The impression that I'm getting is that maybe Carpe Diem is gonna be a very bright fragrance. Maybe this one, Fete d'Ambre, is gonna be an amber-based fragrance just based off the name alone. And then Elixir de Vie, I don't really know what to expect. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and dive into it and let's see what uh, my thoughts are. Now, some of the notes are conveniently located on the back of the box. So there's a bit of a description on the back of this um, box and all three boxes at that. So let me try the first one. This one is called Elixir de Vie. Oh wow, so this smells very fresh. I would say that there's probably a bit of citrus, although I'm not sure, because I did spray it about 10 or 11 minutes ago. So I would, I would guess that whatever citrus was in here probably died out by now. Very bright, herbal, a little bit on the aromatic side of things as well. Like, I don't know if it's mint or basil or clary sage, but there appears to be something kind of herbal. Let me see what's in here, because I, I like it so far. Like, it's very fresh, very pleasant. It reminds me a little bit in the same vein as like a Solstice by Fragrance de Bois, Meteor by Louis Vuitton, Vodka on the Rocks by Killian Paris. It just kind of has like this bright, fresh, herbal, citrusy thing happening in here. There's yuzu, there's lemongrass, white flower, lemony incense, elemi, and a touch of pine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it definitely has those citrusy components, which as I said, are coming across very, very nicely. Definitely signature scent worthy every season except for the winter. I don't know how long it would last because it does have a lot of fresh elements. So my initial suspicion is that it probably wouldn't last as long as the amber-based fragrance. This one appears to maybe have a little bit more weight to it, a little bit more body to it, just based off of my impression. I haven't even smelled it, but my guess is that this one is gonna be the signature scent, compliment getter, fresh, everyday wear sort of a fragrance, perfect for the office. The second one is Carpe Diem. I recognized it because of the red and this fragrance. Ooh. This is a bit of a peculiar smell. I am getting something spicy, although I'm not entirely sure what spice I'm getting. This one is actually surprisingly also kind of earthy, incensey, maybe a little bit on the not so sweet amber side of things as well. But I am getting something spicy in here. I can't specifically say what it is, whether it be a little bit of cinnamon or clove or something like that, but I am getting something really, really nice. So, okay, this is very different from the first one right? This is perfect for the colder weather, right? Like we did a whole 180. So if I can look at the back of the box here, wooden shelves, chronicled history, tales of time long forgotten, a shepra endowed with a tender floral heart composed in golden hues of linden, jasmine, and marigold, animalic undertones, smoldering embers by candlelight. Yeah, there's definitely something very earthy about it. I wasn't getting anything explicitly floral, if I'm being honest with you, or at least that's not the accord that jumped straight out at me. I was getting some spices, some amber, some earthy tones. So when I saw, you know, the Shepra thing, and I see here in the ingredients, there's also Evernia prunastri, so oak moss extract. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. There's definitely this green undercurrent. If you are a fan of some of the heavier, bolder, more charismatic, old world types of fragrances, you're really, really gonna enjoy that one. And the last one is Fete d'Ambre. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. This is definitely the spiciest one of them all. And this definitely has 
a bit of eugenol in here. I don't know if it's clove or bay leaf or whatever. There's definitely something very spicy, very um, kind of on the dark side of things, almost even like a little boozy. I know a lot of spices can give off a bit of a boozy vibe. I don't know if it's like a whiskey or cognac, but it does have like a dark personality, a very spicy amber with some unorthodox sweetness. So with this one, it says, Extra de Parfum embodies the Danish quality of cozy conviviality. A fine smoky single malt is inferred, enveloped in delectable notes of coffee, maple and spiced preserved peaches. It's spicy. It is very, very spicy. Yeah, so since I read the whole single malt thing, that makes a lot of sense. There's definitely coffee, woods, myrrh, tempered with amber. So it definitely has a lot of interesting ingredients in here. This has a very unique aroma profile. Elixir de Vie is definitely the easiest one to wear. Um, so if you're looking for the compliment getter, everyday sort of office friendly fragrance, this is definitely it while still possessing a certain layer of, you know, freshness, uniqueness, originality, all of these are very unique. But what I'm seeing here is that we went from lightest to darkest. <laughs> and I didn't plan that at all. It just kind of happened serendipitously, but definitely Fete d'Ambre is a dark, boozy, spicy, ambery fragrance that's not too heavy handed on the sweetness. I would like to offer a very warm congratulations to the brand owner for launching this brand. Congratulations on that. I think they're both done in a very clever and unique fashion. I'm certainly enjoying all of them for different reasons. Right around this time of the year, especially if I feel like I'm in a daring enough personality, I'll certainly be wearing a lot of Fete d'Ambre. If I wanna wear something just on a daily basis, I would wear Elixir de Vie. Uh, this is probably the one that I would have the easiest time recommending to tons of people. So thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to sample or own all three of these fragrances. It really means a lot to me. And if you're interested in me doing a dedicated review on one of these fragrances, actually spending a week or two with one of these bottles and then putting myself in front of the camera and reviewing it, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you're interested. Also, thank you so much for watching today. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.